Hi, Shelby Joe Long here, CEO of Business Dynamics and Senior Vice President of the Strategic Advisor Board, your resident communication expert here this week to talk about communication practices that you can instill in your own business to make a better environment for people to work in and to make a more productive and efficient environment. Just a few tweaks in your communication practices can do this. This week, I'm here talking about diversity and inclusion and equity in the workplace and how adjusting some of our practices as leaders in the workplace and instilling just some basic infrastructure for diversity and inclusion in your business can create some tremendous differences. There is, we all know the challenges with today's workplace where employees might not feel like they are part of the overall mission, might not feel that they're part of the overall goals and want to give their time and to give their all to their job because there's so many other distractions going on, especially post pandemic where there is the worry about family and spending enough time and worry about health and worry about our family members and whether extended family members are, are the ones that live in our own home. There's all these challenges that we have where people are distracted and people are starting to think differently about their time at work. How we can create as CEO and as leaders in our company, we can create an environment that inspires more involvement and inspires more encouragement from our employees by just a few small practices. When we talk about inclusive practices in our business, it's really providing an environment where employees feel like they're part of the process. They're part of the decision-making process. They're not just a cog in the wheel to get things done at work. They're actually part of the process to help frame what the what the product is that they're actually putting in. There's embracing these inclusive practices are a way that we can really increase involvement. There are a few really basic ways that we can do this as leaders in our practice. One way is to develop an, 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 an inclusive inclusion and equity team within our business that it's important for people to be able to have a voice to talk about these things and to, first of all, discover the issues that may be underlying the performance and underlying the culture of your business, to put a team together to really go into the grassroots and talk to the other employees and discover what these issues are and discover what these possibilities might be by putting together a special team to be able to do that. You not only empower the employees on the team to be more inclusive and be more involved in helping solve the problems, but you put the focus on the employees and you put the focus on those that you are leading to be able to have a more, a better picture of what's happening. So having an inclusion team is one way to even think about even if you have a small business with very few employees, it's a way to get them more involved with your business practices. When they're more involved with their practices, they're going to put more energy into it. They're going to be more creative when they come into the workday and just be more successful altogether in an inclusion type of environment. Another way, just a simple way that we can develop and inclusive practices with our team is to be a little bit flexible with how we make decisions and maybe even more collaborative when we make decisions. Having discussions with our employees and with people that work with us and people, even our customers to talk about why we're making the disease decisions or having just group discussions about why we're doing these things gives it gives your employees a better idea of what's happening and why you're doing things at your business. There's a lot to be said for being inclusive and collaborative where people are going to feel like they're more a part of the business and they're going to put more energy into the business when they have those opportunities that are afforded them. You are investing in their professional development. You're being inclusive with the practices, being flexible with the way that you're going about things. Just a few small changes can really make a dramatic difference in the culture in your business. Happy to talk about business culture, inclus inclusion practices, equity practices in your business anytime. Reach out, shelbyjolong.com, and I'll see you tomorrow with another tip about how to make your communication environment more productive at work. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.